various methods to find the length of the list in python so in programming languages we can write the program in any way we'll be having different inbuilt functions and regular notations to work with any program so here we are just going through all the different ways to find the length of the list this is your first method l1 is equal to 10 20 30 30 and we used len function in build function to find the length so method 2 to find the length of the string using for loop so without using any inbuilt function so we have a list l1 with the elements 1 4 5 7 8 8 look at the print you are printing the list and we used str means each and every element is in string format Look at that for loop for i in l1. So for i in l1. So how many elements in l1? One, two, three, four, five. Five times the loop will be repeated. So for the first element, whenever you access the first element, c will be incremented by one, and second element, c will be incremented by one, and for third element, c will be incremented by one, and so on. as i have five elements and the loop is repeated five times and each and every time the c value is incremented by one so very simple way of going so look at this method we have something unusual which we won't be using more number of times from operator class import length hint we know len to find the length of the list so look at the x x the number of elements the length of the list l1 using len function so we have length underscore hint to find the number of elements present in the list in the operator class so from operator import length underscore hint so look at this method using sum function look at that sum one for i in l1 so what exactly is this so python is little bit typical and confusing so if, if you observe these type of programs so one for i in l1 with each iteration adds one at the end we get the length of the list closely observe the things so look at this we are finding the length of the list using list comprehension can you observe the things clearly one for underscore in l1 the comprehension notation using the same sum this is little confusing you must have the knowledge of list comprehension before using this notation so we are finding the length of the list using recursion concept you know recursion is the process where the function calls by itself so we have a function with name co if not l1 if the list is empty return 0 otherwise return 1 plus co l1 of 1 colon 
check it out what exactly is one colon so this is what the recursion the recursion concept can be used for any type of program like this and this is your final function call co of l1 if not l1 return 0 otherwise return 1 plus the remaining elements so we have enumerate method for i comma a in enumerate l1 s is equal to s plus 1 so which adds a counter to an iterable and returns it in a form of enumerating object so before working with that try to get the data regarding enumerate method in python so look at this from collections import counter we have counter values to find the length of the list so we have some function along with the values method of the collection counter object to get the length of the list so these are the various methods to find the length of the list in python 